How's it going today, everybody? Welcome back to Shaner's Mechanic Life. So I was on Amazon the other day, and I ordered something. And I've seen these on TV for years. thought I'd finally try one. What I got was one of these universal sockets. And it came with a little kit. Let me show you. It's got the universal socket, and the adapter for your drill, and also a 105 degree screw gun adapter. You know, this would come in handy for doing stuff like mud flaps. Let me give it a try. But first, I thought I'd show you the socket a little bit. It's a 3 8 drive. Looks like it's a deep socket, but the way the pins work, it's basically only a shallow socket. So don't go by and it's expecting to put it over top of a long stud and get a nut off. It just won't work for that. Now it says on the socket, does from quarter inch to three quarters of an inch or seven millimeters to 19 millimeters. Now it is a chrome socket, so I wouldn't be but an impact gun or impact driver on it. Just use a regular drill or even just a regular ratchet. So I'm gonna try it out on a couple things. Do the torque test on it and I'm gonna let you know. Is it worth the cash? Or should I just throw it in the trash? Anyway, here we go. I'm gonna try it on these half inch bolts holding the electrical socket on this trailer. It's basically you just push it on to overcome the spring tension. It's definitely turning it. Now let's turn it back in. Seems like it tightened up nice. Let's try it on one of these terminal nuts on this battery. That worked well. The main use I had in mind for this socket is on these air filter housing. You have the plastic bolts that hold them on. It doesn't really fit a socket or use a pair of pliers or your hands. It's just slow. So let's see how well it works. Definitely makes it much faster. I'm doing back up. Time's money. Now this little attachment also came with a kit. It's a little 105 degree screw bit adapter. What I didn't know is uh, it's actually magnetic. So you don't have to worry about dropping your bit when you're using it. Something like this would come in handy if you're changing mud flaps on the vehicle, on your rear wheel, and you just don't have the room. So by using this, you don't have to pull the wheel off. Just put in your screwdriver, tighten it up. Definitely save you some time. That way you don't have to pull the wheel off. Now like I said earlier, this socket ranges from quarter inch up to three quarters and seven millimeters to 19 millimeters. If you're using a quarter inch or seven millimeters, you're basically gripping from the very center portion. And if you're using the full three quarters and 19 millimeters, you're gripping from using the walls of the socket, not the pins. So what I've done here, i got a 3 8 nut in a vise. Run a 3 8 bolt down finger tight. I'm going to take my snap-on digital torque wrench. I've got it set to 70 foot-pounds. I can't see it taking much more than that. I'm going to gradually apply torque and see what the reading is once it slips. Forty-one, fifty, fifty-four, fifty-five. 50, 54, 55, 
Uh, we hit 55. Or, don't. 58.1 was the max torque before it slipped. You know, if you ask me, I was definitely surprised that this socket held up to 58 foot-pounds of torque. You know, and you look at the pins, there's there's no damage to them. It's ready to go again. It's definitely not a one-time use only socket. So, in my opinion, it's definitely worth the cash. And I'll be keeping it. And, uh, yeah, I might even order another one. You know, keep one in the vehicle, keep one in the toolbox. Because you never know when you're going to be missing a socket or just have that weird shape fastener that this just might get you out of a pinch. Have any of you out there tried these universal sockets? If so, what do you think? Leave a comment in the comment section. Just while I end the video, thanking one of my new subscribers, John N. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate all my subscribers. Well, hit that like button and subscribe. I got more videos coming. Anyway, that's it for this week, everybody. Have a good night, and thanks for watching.